Wild Labs is a community to connect field conservationists to each other so they can ask and answer questions, but it's also a place for tech people to meet the field conservationists who need their skills and need new tools. The Wild Labs Tech Hub is working to accelerate technology solutions to end wildlife crime. We're working to advance the technology itself and find better ways to share data and intelligence. We live in a challenging time. Over one million species are on the brink of extinction around the world. It's never been more important to come together and deploy our technical resources, our expertise to this challenge. We've really had an impressive list of applicants and the winners are fantastic. From Eric and Wildlife Protection Solutions, uh, work with those on the ground to find appropriate solutions and technology for their need. From Pandasat's work to pioneer the future of satellite connectivity for remote environments. To Pawprint, who are helping bring advanced biometrics and forensics to local law enforcement teams. And then the work of open acoustic devices who are really pioneering low-cost tools to get these technologies into the hands of those who, who need it most. Wild Labs Tech Hub has been great because they have provided us with several different contacts uh, deep within industries that have uh, expertise in things like long-range, low-power radios, uh, different AI analytics and um, connecting us up with groups that have been doing quite a lot of research on the AI side and already have different um, engines that uh, we are looking at being able to plug directly into our platform. Being part of this has, has enabled us to talk to lots of people who are actually interested in using AudioMoth in the field. We've talked to uh, cloud providers looking at um, what are the practicalities of actually using cloud resources to, to store and analyze data. And so it's really just been the exposure to sort of real practitioners who are trying to apply conservation technology in the field. Having the angle of Wild Labs, um, knowing what people need and what are the um, biggest problems with the current technology and, and what can we solve, that was really useful. Over the coming years, we want to expand Wild Labs to provide tech support for those in the field. There is no tech support for conservation, and our field teams need to crowdsource information that can help them do their jobs with technology. With further investment and second round funding, we can increase our capacity to help expand in Africa and Latin America to really make a difference on the front lines of conservation. I think we're just starting to see the conservation tech ecosystem mature and the amount of excitement and enthusiasm I hear from our members every single day, whether it's just one person connecting with another and finding a project that needs their help, or if it's out in the field deploying a new piece of technology and really seeing a difference it makes to the conservation practitioners. I think we're just at the, we're just scratching the surface of what technology can do for conservation and there's so much opportunity and I think we're going to make a real big difference.